Hey y'all, welcome back. So different view, same day, all the things. Um, this is from a company called Wizardy. They contacted me and asked me if I would like to try out some of their products. And I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Um, this is a company that has um, a lot of the Russian designs and ring light. So I chose this one. Again, I can't really, I don't know the language. Oh, Linda, focus. Maybe. I can't tell if I'm focused or not. Um, it's all in Russian. But what's really cool about these pieces is that they're not fabric. Um, they have an entire, like, series of the um, Alice in Wonderland. I plan to get them all at some point. And then this one was just too cool. I could not pass that up. Sorry for the glare. I'll pull these all out. They also offer some diamond painting kits. So I grabbed this one. I think that'll be really super cute in my office. Possibly if you know why I have an office. I don't know what order these videos are going to go up in. We'll figure that out later. So I'm going to try to pull this away from here. So you guys don't have to hear the paper stuff. And I'll worry about putting all that back later. So it comes like this. You get your paper. And let me just not show off the chart. Okay. Your chart's on the inside. It's just a little leaflet. You have your instructions. Again, not in English. I don't think they're in English in anywhere. Just make sure there's a chart on the inside. No. I believe it's all in... I think she said it was Russian. Yep, so there's that. You get felt pieces. And, whoops. Oh, man. Don't hit the camera. Okay, cool. Two felt pieces. And this magnetic piece. I'm assuming you're going to cut that up. I, I'm not sure. You get your floss. It comes on this nice little holder. I don't know where the camera is. I haven't had to do this angle in a very long time. These are all kind of pre-cut. Nice short lengths. Because you don't really need them to be long, long lengths. Since it's just a little kit. But here's the cool part. These are like, they're plastic. So it's not quite like plastic canvas. It's like plastic fabric ish esque. It's kind of how it feels. So they're super thin. They're very flexible. And you stitch your pieces right onto this. And these are magnets, or they're going to be magnets. And so you take two, and you take your other two. They give you the needle. Everything you need to stitch this is in this kit. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was a little freaked out because everything's in Russian. However, I have been stitching long enough that I'm, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to do this without needing the actual instructions. So there's that one. Absolutely love this. I cannot wait to get this done. I wonder if my refrigerator at work is, I can do magnets on it. I don't know. There's that. I'm going to shove all this together so I don't lose it or get it confused with anything else. This one, I'm going to open this one over here on the side. Oh, that's not the flap. They also were nice enough to give me a link, so I'll be able to link their store. It is an affiliate link, just so you know, so I get a small percentage, which I'll probably turn around, honestly, and just use in the store because these are too cute. And this is front and back. And so the chart on this one takes up the entire paper. Is it just the front? Um, I think this piece of paper has the front side. And yes, you get another piece of paper that has the back side. So there are two charts to this one because these are two separate patterns and then you sew them together. And those are the instructions again. Here's those plastic pieces again. So you get two of them with the needle. Super cool. I love the concept of this. And then, of course, all your threads cut nice and short because you don't need them super long. And there's that. The first person I saw do something like this was um, Anastasia. Is it Nico or Neko? She is Russian, so she does a lot of Russian designs. Um, or she stitched. Oh, sorry. That was probably super loud. And... Um, she did ones that were like wooden, and I thought those were super cool looking. I don't know if I've seen her do something with plastic, but I'm very excited to stitch these. She's so cute. They had the Mad Hatter and all sorts of... Okay, and with this one, the front half is on one side, the back half is on the other side, so that's the full complete chart. Again, with the flosses. I'm not sure if these are DMC flosses. I don't know what type of floss they use. They almost feel like a like a starched DMC. And then again, front and back with your needle up here. Some more, please don't hit the camera and be mean. Don't 
pet the stand because she's got a good habit of doing that. And again, instructions that are, you know, not in a language I can read, but very excited to do those. I love doing plastic canvas. Every year I usually do plastic canvas um, tissue boxes as Christmas gifts for the teachers. So to me, in my mind, that's just like a softer version of plastic canvas. Okay, and I'm going to pop this box open right here so we can kind of see what's in it. Here's the little... I will probably diamond paint this with y'all. I'm just saying. Okay. Now, I don't know if these are Russian kits too. Oh, wow. There's all sorts of stuff in there. Okay. So we have, of course, the tray. The um, Okay. Just so y'all have a heads up. Excuse you. Really? Really? You? Please excuse us. We're having an invasion of cats. Don't pet the camera. No touches. She knows she's not supposed to be up here. Um, I am not a professional diamond painter. I do this as a hobby. I do everything I do is for a hobby. It's I, I'm not a pro anything. I am a jack of all trades, master of none. That's just how it is. So please understand. I, I don't, I do this for fun. But you have your tray, you have your wax, and you have your pen. It's one placer. There's no three placer on the other side, which is fine. Although if you want to know more about like professional stuff, I can send you to two people that I just absolutely love and adore. Alicia, who is Miss Crochet and Coffee. No, Miss, shoot. Crafting with Miss Crochet and Coffee? She changed her name and ever since she changed it, for some, she only changed it by one word. For some reason, I can never remember what it is. Crafting with Miss Crochet and Coffee. Something like that. And the other person is Rachel Ray. Those two are my go-tos when I need to know how to diamond paint. Also Stitcherista. The Stitcherista, Danielle, she does a lot of diamond painting too now. Um, but you got tweezers. You seem like some good heavy duty tweezers. So there's those. So those are the tools that you got. And I'm going to try to, without scaring the crap out of the cat or hurting myself with rubber bands, I'm going to unroll this. So I know to be gentle because I don't want to cause any bubbles. Oop, but here's the, I like how this is actually big enough to where you can see it. There's 20 colors. I'm going to attempt to roll this out without self-creating any bubbles. This is like wound up tight, tight, tight. I'm going to pull back. I hope you guys are seeing this. Oh, those are some nice. All right. Those are pretty, those are pretty easy reads. I'm going to stick this back down. No, it's not perfect. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just to kind of flatten the canvas back up. I may have created a bubble there. I just want to relieve. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if you can see that on the side, but it says ignite the spark of creativity. That is super cute. Okay, I'm going to just smush that back down. And I'm going to lift up this side. I'm only lifting it because of the fact that I want to relieve the canvas from being rolled up so tight for so long to help it straighten back out. So that way it'll be easy to paint. And this one we should be able to do pretty quickly, I think. This is super cute, super little. It is 20 by 20 centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches because I can't convert that. I'm, I'm not that good. Um, so 20 colors. So we have, oh, and they're DMC colors. I see that, that's nice. I don't know if you can see that on the side. Those are DMC colors. So we have 300, there's no checklist. There's 301. I'm assuming this is just gonna go backwards. 321, perfect, 666. Uh, 700. These are square drills. I prefer those. 702. Um, 814. 816. It doesn't look like they give you a lot of wiggle room if you drop them, because I'm really well known for that. 891. 894. 939. Just doing a real quick run. 977. Nope. 3706. 3756. 3765, 3826, 3844. Hopefully, I don't need too, too many of those colors. Um, that makes me a little nervous that I might run out of something. 3846. And oh, look, I got a stowaway. Oh, and it's round. I don't know if you can see that. Um, 3854, 3855, and B5200. Well, it's just 5200, but B5200. So there's that. Those were the things that I received from Wizardy, which I super am appreciative of. I feel terrible because it's been, you know, I don't know, forever and a day since I've had these in my hot little hands. And I'm just now getting around to um, having a chance to sit down 
and record. So there's that one. Pop this guy over to the side. Let me pop this guy back in here so I don't lose anything. And that one. So thank you, Wizardy, for allowing me to have a few of the products to test and try out. And like I said, I will be upcoming videos. I will be doing some of these with y'all. So there's that. All right. Um, I will. Oh, good. Only 10 minutes. I hope y'all have a fantastic weekend. The weekend has come to an end for me whenever you're watching this video. Stay random. Don't kiss your projects. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.